Hi, welcome to Sport Fishing Magazine's Boat Tour Videos. I'm your host, Dean Travis Clark, the executive editor of Sport Fishing Magazine, and I'm aboard a brand new WorldCat 330TE. Now, TE stands for Tournament Edition, and that means this is hardcore fishing. Come on aboard. Let's start here, right in the stern, because there's fishing amenities from bow to stern on this boat. This walkthrough is very wide. You have a huge area between the engines to bring fish aboard, and also the engines are spread apart because it's a catamaran. The centers are much wider, and that gives you a lot more leverage when you're working a fish. You can pivot this boat on its own axis. Also here in the transom is a live bait well, one on each side, gasketed, you can pressurize it, and it keeps your baits fine no matter what the sea condition is that you're running in. You'll also notice that every hatch on this boat is lockable, so when you're not using it as a bait well, you can store all kinds of stuff in here, lures, line, whatever you need. Come on, take a look at this module. The amount of thought that's gone into this module here is amazing. This top is all one piece, but the whole thing is insulated. You have a raw water hose here, a fresh water hose here, and look at this box. This is a bait box. You can put your rigged baits in here, and then you can put ice underneath it with a drain, goes overboard, and that way you can keep your rigged baits Right here handy, you don't need a separate cooler. Cutting board, drink holders, and then down below, tackle storage. Here's a place for your leader material, drawers for lures, more lure holder here, mirror image over here, here's some more lures, a place for your tools. And notice this little metal plate here, this is a magnet. So while you're offshore and the boat's rocking a little bit, open this up. That magnet holds the door open. You don't have to worry about it slamming into your leg. Every fishing boat needs places to carry your rods. Look at all these rocket launchers all the way around the hard top stanchions. These quartz halogen lights shine into the cockpit. You have your outriggers on both sides. And this hard top carries your electronics box is forward, the outrigger controls, as well as adjustable lights along the side so that if you're bringing a fish alongside or you need some little light so that you can tie knots or whatever, there you have it. Adjust it any way you want. These steps built into the stanchion of the hardtop give you access to the hardtop both for cleaning, which is very convenient, or you can also put an upper station on there with separate controls and this will give you access to that as well. Moving down here, the bulwark in the side has storage lockers for Plano removable tackle boxes and a general catch-all box. For a center console boat, this is an incredible console. These are 12 inch displays, but as you can see, you have room for a pair of 15 inches here, no problem. Suzuki's electronic gauges, all your breakers are right here, right in front of you. Electronic throttle and shift, individual engine trims, a tilt wheel, and then down here, more storage space, as well as drawers under the seat. I'll show the inside of the console in just a moment. But no fish boat can be called a fish boat without fish boxes. And here's a huge insulated fish box, big enough for me to climb into and shut the hatch. And again, lockable. You have in bulwark rod storage here for three rods on each side. Good solid handholds. There's no place on this boat that you can walk without having a solid handhold. In the front of the console is an insulated big, big box. You can use it for drinks, you can use it for fish, pretty much anything you want. 
Now, you need to remember that this is a catamaran with a tunnel in the middle. And that means that the center of the boat under the console isn't the deepest part of the boat. Consequently, you can't put a big head and a shower and everything in the console. What they do put in here is a mammoth storage area, and then the head and the berth and everything are up in the forward cabin. This center console has a small but functional cabin with access on each side. From here, you can get into an athwart ship single berth, and on this side is the berth and the head. But what this also does is, when combined with the huge anchor locker forward and these great steps up, it gives you a mammoth casting deck forward. You can fight a fish, you can chase it down, throw a cast net, and because it's a catamaran, it's wide and squared off. It gives you that much more room. So with these handholds and these big molded steps, you can see that it's incredibly easy and safe to get up here on the bow. And bottom fishermen will particularly appreciate this huge anchor locker with room for hundreds and hundreds of feet of chain and rope. Now, let's go for a ride. The WorldCat 330TE, which stands for Tournament Edition, cruises very efficiently at 35 miles per hour, turning 4,600 RPM. At that speed, it's burning about 26 gallons per hour for 1.37 miles to the gallon. At a top speed of 48 miles per hour, the 330, turning 6,000 RPM, gets just about one mile to the gallon, or 48.87 gallons per hour with the Suzuki 300 four-strokes. So that's the very impressive WorldCat 330 Tournament Edition. Next time you have a really nasty day and you're tempted to just stay home, go see your WorldCat dealer and go for a ride. I promise you, you won't find a better, smoother riding boat than a power catamaran and especially WorldCat.